Hello everybody. So today's project, we have a old go-kart here. It's a, uh, let's see, Kembar Streaker. One of these old Streaker carts. I don't know, uh, I've never seen one with the Predator logo on it though. But uh, I just picked this up a couple days ago. It's, uh, it's in somewhat rough shape. Looks like someone painted the wheels black. I think they were, I think they came yellow at one point. This, <laughs> this valve stem is not the right valve stem for this type of wheel. See, the seat's torn, half the seat's missing. Um, I was told it ran and then it had a new carburetor last year put on, which looks to be somewhat true. This, this primer bulb seems pretty fresh, but uh, it was leaking gas when I picked it up. So, probably a cracked fuel line or something, hopefully an easy, easy fix. Um, otherwise, it's in great shape. Has the disc brake. And what I want to do with this, I'll probably document, is I want to restore it to uh, an original condition of one of these, the way you'd probably have found it in the late 90s, early 2000s when you could buy these. Here it is. I want to say it's probably early 2000s because the uh, Tecumseh Power Sports with the overhead valves, I think, were a motor of the early 2000s. I remember when I was a kid in the early 2000s, I had uh, one of these. I think it was a D711 by Kenbar, and it had the same motor on it. So I think these were from the early 2000s with the torque, Comet Torque Averter. So, so yeah, my goal. I'll see if I have a picture of one of these, what they originally looked like, but I want to restore it to original condition, replace the seat. I want to take the wheels back, make them white like some of the old streakers were. I um, want to put the regular roll bar foam on. I actually want to paint the green. I want to paint it yellow. Um, one of my friends had one of these when I was a kid, and his was yellow, and I loved it. So I'd like to paint the bottom yellow and then do yellow foams over it. Um, I know a lot of people just swap these motors out for Predators, but I actually really like the old Tecumseh Power Sports. I remember they always had a really cool uh, whistle when you got off the throttle. <laughs> it sounded pretty cool. So I actually want to keep the uh, Power Sport um, and see if I can get it running good to where I can keep it on there instead of just swapping for a Predator like almost everyone seems to do. So I think... Uh, the first step's probably going to be getting the motor running. So we'll see where the uh, fuel is leaking from. And I'll probably also be swapping these tires. These things are bald, and they're not even the originals. So I want to put the original 1566 um, Turf Savers, Carlisle Turf Savers, back on too. I think these tires are original. Because um, I think these are what came with these go-karts but the fronts definitely aren't so i want to put the original turf savers back on make it look more original so uh it'll be pretty cool might take some of you guys on a ride down memory lane <laughs> probably when you guys might have had a cart like this when you were a kid so stay tuned we'll see i think uh like i said step one will probably be swap these tires and get the motor running um and then probably gonna tear the whole thing down do some maintenance and like i said i wanted to paint the uh lower chassis yellow so I think it'll look pretty cool when it's all said and done, so stay tuned. All right, getting an idea of when this thing was built. I thought I'd look at the tire code since I think they're original. Check that out. 4500. These tires are made in the 45th week of 2000. Leads me to believe this is somewhere around a 2000 year model go-kart, which seems reasonable. So this will be a this will be an interesting project, for sure. Got it apart already. Front wheels off. Getting them painted. Old tires and tubes, and that's gonna be the new tire, one of them, going on. So we'll keep you posted.